Hey guys, does anyone else feel like adventuring in a world of economic printing and rushed, underpaid writing? I do. I'm in the mood to enjoy a simple black and white morality play where I am always right and those who disagree with me are broad evils with no nuance. That's what I want too, but what are we going to play? Michael Bay, the RPG? I mean, what modern genre can provide me with such an unapologetic adolescent power fantasy? Comic, Comic books! books. Alright everybody, time for some four color action. Hope everybody made their characters, cause we don't have all day. I'm Stupendous Man, a classic sort of hero. So what are your powers? Why, super strength, invulnerability, and sonic flight. What better way to be a champagne of the people than with the Holy Trinidad? Uh, do you mean Trinity? <laughs> of course not, my gregarious game guru. My powers exist in the real world, not the Matrix. Wow, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, what's your deal, makeup? I'm Tiberius A. Thunder Nugs, the ass assassin. Um, I think there's an extra syllable in there somewhere. Now, I'm an assassin of ass, a funky fresh ninja lo bringing the wicked shit. What? Tiberius Axe Bone of Thunder Nugs, bitch! Oh. I'm the Southwest Ass Assassin, that's what they call me. I'll run this bitch. I peels caps all day long, motherfucker. The wicked clowns will never die. Wow, okay, so what powers do you have? Yo, ear balls fuzzy. You got nettings for hair bones. Clean the dicks out your ears and peep this Southwest gangsta voodoo. The king, the big king, the king killer cat peeler freewheeler. Okay, well, I think that's all I need from you. Uh, what did you make? I am the bad. Oh, thank God one of you's taking this seriously. Ah, yes, comic books. Four-color soap operas in a world where evil can be defeated just by beating it up. The perfect marriage of writing and art, once the domain of the ridiculed nerds, now world-spanning summer blockbusters with undeniable mainstream power. Comics code approved after-school specials where men are men and women are exaggerated sex organs, superhero comics have been an indelible part of American culture since the first phantom tattooed the first skull onto the first ne'er-do-well. So what does it take to bring this to the table? Superheroes are famously and notoriously over the top. In a way, they have to be. The entire idea of the superhero is one of the mythic. The larger-than-life hero who stands up to fulfill the monomyth and personify the paragon virtue of the culture it represents. So today we're going to take a look at how Palladium Books tackled the challenge with their four-color hero game, Heroes Unlimited. Palladium LLC accomplishes this by eschewing setting and metaplot and leaving that up to the game master to fill in. In many ways, this is the best tactic when dealing with cultural paradigms. We're given a sort of blank canvas on which to paint our own cultural norms in the core book. There are, of course, source books that can provide the player with more specific narrative if the game master really wants to include them, but we don't really get that in the main product. Instead, the game focuses almost exclusively on character creation, which, let's face it, is the most important thing that a superhero game needs to knock out of the park. Characters are made choosing a superhero type and a level of education. Superhero types such as mutant, experiment, hardware, or ancient master provide the framework for the character's origin story by means of generating superpowers. Education is decided by a random roll and determines the number of skills a character has. Superpowers are given out through a random role determined by hero type. Aliens and mutants have different charts with different power yields and types of powers available to them. The same is true of hardware characters who have a random budget for super technology, and psionic heroes who have a list of psychic powers to choose from. For fans of occult heroes like Dr. Fade or Dr. Strange, a character can also wield magic spells or artifacts of power. The Game Master can, of course, simply let people choose their power and education levels as well, which helps to balance characters a bit more. Superpowers come in two categories, major and minor. Now their abilities are usually very singular and focused, but some majors have their own effect while mimicking several minors as well. Customization is done almost entirely by power and type selection, with each individual ability being fairly static. Most powers increase in potency as the character increases in level. There are several source books which add new superpowers, as well as new origins and hero types. For example, Powers Unlimited 2 introduces Gestalt heroes like Swamp Thing, and eugenic heroes, which are bioengineered super beings created through high technology. The basic engine is the Palladium Books Megaversal system. In other words, it's basically the same thing that we showed you in our Rifts review. 
In case you haven't seen that one, the engine uses a d20 rolled high to accomplish most combat-related tasks, and a d100 rolled low against a percentage to accomplish skills. Some skills are not rolled, but rather add bonuses to attributes, combat, or other tests. There are eight attributes determined randomly by rolling 3d6. Extremely high attributes add bonuses to skills, combat, and in some cases special values that only the extremely charismatic have access to. The biggest difference is that unlike Rifts, Heroes Unlimited is an SDC setting, meaning that there is no MDC or Mega Damage to be found here. Instead, everything has SDC and hit points and deals structural damage appropriately. It also means the numbers we'll be dealing with are much higher. These are superheroes after all. The version of the Palladium engine that Heroes uses is also a bit older. As of this recording, the game has not seen a new addition in about 15 years, so it has some of the pre-ultimate update foibles. There is, however, a new limited edition hardback available that was released within 12 months of this writing. Alright, you're receiving a call from the mayor of Capital City. It's coming in on the urgent line. I am the bat. I am not the hero this phone call deserves, but I am the one that it needs. It appears the bat has turned heel and placed a thermonuclear super destroyer mega missile right in the middle of Capital City. If you guys don't act fast, It'll explode, killing everyone. I am the milk that sunkies your conflicts. I am the fire that cleanses your chunk of fuckery. I am the bad. Oh, don't even fuck with me, bionk ass bitch! I will use my axe to give your forehead a butt crack, and then I'll shove your old ass up your new ass for an ass in the ass 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 assassination. All right, well, that's actually kind of intimidating. Never fear, sentences, for I will use my stupendous strength to carry the malicious missile high into the atmosphere where it will detonate harmlessly. Okay, so if you're going to do that, then... Yes, I will just hoist it aloft and fly away, my dear fellow Americans. Fear not for my safety, for though I may perish, I do it all for you. Right, so you're doing that or giving a speech Yes, or... I know you'll wonder what you'll do without me. But worry not, I am not concerned with my safety. I will save you, though it means the exploding of my rippling perfect frame, for I... I'm a Paraguay of virtue. You mean Paragon. That is funny, but I understand your confusion. Though I fly quickly, I am no falcon. That's Peregrine. <laughs> oh, my beshrouded expatriate. This bomb threatens not the Shire. Yeah, so the bomb explodes, with you being at the center of a 50 million mega massive explosion, and you're all dead. Well, except for the bat. Yeah, what's up with that? What made you go rogue? I wanted to play Iron Claw. Uh, excuse me, hoes unlimited, I ain't dead. What? Impossible! How could you survive a blast that atomized even my stupendous frame? Immortality and regeneration ultima. The wicked clowns will never die! Mother f***er. Okay, so what do we think of Heroes Unlimited? Uh, comic books is a really, really good way to just blast through stuff and have a good time, I think. Really, superhero settings, the default setting is the modern world except people have superpowers. Yeah. So you don't need setting extensive se setting information. I think that at least, like, the option where you random all your powers is kind of a... kind of a mixed bag there, because there are some powers that I just don't feel are balanced and are okay for flavor, but oh, if, no. you, if, your su if your hero ends up with it, it's just not as fun. Uh, character creation methods, depending on your mm, yeah. origin, your power origin, mm. or whatever. Uh, you know, the difference between ancient master and robot yep. and mutant or whatever. Those are, those make for almost, they're almost separate character generation systems. Yeah, they're, like they're, especially they're so wildly different. You cannot make a hardware character that can run beside a well built mutant. Yeah. Um, and that only gets sick. <laughs> yeah, and that only gets wilder when you get into the new types presented in Powers Unlimited too. Randomly rolled powers and randomly rolled power assignment. Not satisfying. Total garbage. Yeah. Not Completely satisfying. Completely hate it. <laughs> yeah, you know, because you don't want one guy to end like, up with. Like unless everybody wants to randomly roll their powers just to play the grab bag of what they get. Yeah. Don't make people who don't want to roll their powers roll their powers because. Honestly, I think it's fun when it's ran correctly by someone who knows what they're doing and understands comic books. Because that's what it is. It's a comic book game, and it needs to be played like that. What I'm going to say is that I rarely meet a superhero game that I like. There's very, There are very few comic book characters you couldn't somehow approximate in Heroes Unlimited. Still, I'd say give it a shot. 
I love this game. I love Heroes Unlimited. It is in my top three favorite superhero games of all time. I don't really like funny books. I don't like Batman. I don't like Batman. Uh, but I, I have a lot of fun with Heroes Unlimited. I think they did what they I'm were trying to do well, and they gave me a good place to Not it. certain I can continue in partnership with you, sir. <laughs> well, thanks for <laughs> watching. We'll uh, see you next time. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I want to apologize for him. You are kidding. Entertain. You are not being sleepy. You just want to hit like and subscribe. Knock wanna, it off. You do not. You want to go to eBay and buy all the seasons of Mama's Family. We did. <laughs> <laughs> On VHS.